Now look at this lovely little wall. Isn't that done so nicely? And it comes down over a rock here. An old stone wall has been there a lifetime. And there's the old well, or spring, with the steps down into it. Self-sufficient. And there you are. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And it stood the test of time. I wonder where I heard that wee story before. Now this is the 1st of March. No, it's the 1st of September. 1st of October even. And my mind's a bit boggled at the minute. 1st of October and this is the field here and the drain behind me where John Joe drained, then Barry came in, sprayed, uh, burned it off for me. So uh, I'm waiting on the ploughman coming now. He was he was to come about a week ago and didn't appear. Now he rung last night to say he was coming this morning. And then he rung this morning to say at a dental appointment he'd be here dinner time. And it's now about four o'clock or half four in the afternoon. So uh, he's worse than me at saying he'll be there at a certain time. So anyway, what we're doing is, you can see I've trimmed the hedges out to the side here and behind me as well. This is going to be ploughed and we have a window of, uh, I think, two or three more days. So if we get it ploughed, we'll have to get in because the grass seed, otherwise it'll be too late. Well, it may not be too late. People sow in the winter time and it seemed to get away with it. But we'd like it done as soon as we can. So that's us. Now would you look at this, the ploughman is just actually arriving when I was giving out about him now. Now do you know the way that nothing ever works out in life the way you expect? I was thinking Barry will swizz in here, turn this over and be out in the way. But with the mat of grass that's on here, uh, I was unable to mow it, top it. It's been laying fallow for a year this now. And the sheep just, I put the sheep in to tramp it down and graze it a bit. So the grass was burnt off and it's fairly long, but it's, it's all dead now, but it's gone into a mat just, and then whenever the skims were cutting the ground, it was building up around them. So we had to take the skims off because we were getting barrelfuls of stuff at the end, having to turn the plough over and clear everything. So we just took the skims off and we're planting here now. There's going to be dead grass sticking up all through the thing, but it's one of those years where that's what the way it's turned out. So that's what was a simple job has become not a torture, but not so simple as we thought. We have electric wire up here and the briars were growing out and hitting on it there. So I have machines been down in the back there taking the first run. And just as I was coming along, look at this nice apple tree here. Look at the color of those apples. Isn't that lovely? Mm, boy, those are lovely. I'm going to have another one here.
On Saturday, we're going to divide the flock into two, the mature sheep and one ram, this ram here, will go in with one half and the other ram, a bell clare, will go in with the other half. When you have the rams nice and quiet, the way Barbara has them here, you can just slip the marker on their brisket and you don't need any harness. And by our calculation, ram goes in this Saturday, we should have lambs on the 1st of March. That's about it folks for another week. It's been busy so it's a shorter one this week and I'm just leaving you with the plowing happening at home here and a bit of reseeding going on around the district as well. So here we go.